After eight weeks, the latest investigation into allegations by a former police chief, Paul Bryan, has ended. The Mobile City Council says it ordered the investigation in an interest of restoring public confidence after Prine made several accusations of wrongdoing against high-ranking members of the city's administration. Our Dacian Smith gathering the information on this story in Dacian. There's a lot going into that final report. That's right. The third party council who did the investigation says the report is over 200 pages long and it's something the council and the administration said was very thorough. And while in most cases, the special counsel found no wrongdoing, the handling of the 321Z insights contract that Prime had concerns about was called into question. And so was the testimony of a law enforcement commander. In May, the Mobile City Council hired attorney Bill Athanis to look into claims made by former police chief Paul Prime. Since then, he says they took testimony from 17 witnesses and collected over 8,500 pages of documents. Athanis said the investigation found no violations of law or city policy in regards to how the chain of command was followed, a breakdown in communications, or how Prime's grievances were handled. But he says it was a different story when it comes to Commander Kevin Levy, who Athanis says provided false testimony during the investigation investigation, which he says is a violation of city policy. We also found that Commander Levy's actions uh, with respect to a, a signature page that was created on a document violated a separate city policy regarding the uh, alteration of uh, city records. Additionally, it amounts to tampering with uh, government documents, uh, which is a violation of Alabama Code 13A. 10, 12, which is a class A misdemeanor. That finding came as a surprise to Council President C.J. Small. When you have employees, you know, hundreds of employees that are thousands of employees that work for our organization, it's kind of hard to keep track of everything. So therefore, if the things are true, you know, it is surprising that, you know, things like that could have happened. Mayor Sandy Stimson disagrees, but says he sent the report to the Ethics Commission, Attorney General's Office, and the Mobile County District Attorney for further review. We take any and all allegations of a crime seriously. <clears throat> it is important to note, very important to note, that there was no evidence of any illegal or unethical monetary gain regarding this contract. Council members say now that the investigation is finished, they hope the city can begin to move forward. I would hope that it restores the confidence and the true public of this administration and of this council. For Mayor Stimson, moving forward includes finally choosing a permanent police chief. I think that we will look at uh, the opportunity that we have to appoint a new chief uh, through maybe a little different lens uh, than what we did the last time. I reached out to Levy's attorney, Chris Callahan, who says the allegations made against his client are entirely false. He says Levy did not tamper with any government records, but did provide five hours of true testimony before filing a notice of claims with the city of Mobile. The council says the report will be made available on the city's website today. Live in studio, Dacian Smith, Fox 10 News.